What's going on, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com, Paradise Garage. Uh, type in the chat super quickly. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, I missed out on the past couple of weeks. Well, we all missed out in the past two weeks. I've been super busy, a lot of things going on, and I wasn't able to do the auto body Q&As. But I'm back, and everything is good. Uh, I know I've been getting a lot of emails from people and uh, VIP members and just you know, some of the guys out there just hoping that everything was okay uh, with me and my family uh, because of the fires over in Maui. Um, yes, everything's okay. Um, I want to say thank you for everybody who was concerned and who sent in emails and, and all that. Uh, thank you for your concern on that. Um, it's the fires happened on in Maui, different island. And, um, you know, I didn't know a whole lot of people there, but the, the people that I knew here that had families there, everything's OK. Uh, very unfortunate what happened. And um, in the future, I plan to do some sort of, I don't know, some sort of sale on some of my programs. And I want to make a, a donation bucket that, I, that we can send over there. So that's um, coming down the pipeline as well, something I want to do. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, can you just type in the chat super quickly? Let me know that you guys can hear and see me type in the chat. Um, thank you for, uh, the wonderful comments. Um, what's going on? Nice to see you here. Uh, Mayan, nice to see you VIP from Florida. Hey, can you flex <laughs> is pearl white difficult to match? Uh, pearl white. I mean, if you got the same color, it's not that difficult to match. You know, if you got, the, if you're working with the same color, you know, you got the same mixing ratios, the same color, it's not that bad. Right. Uh, VIP Forest, good to see you loud and clear. Thank you very much. Diapazel, was that how you say it? Um, anyway, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any auto body Q and a, we're going to be on handling your auto body Q and a for the next, you know, 20, 30 minutes, depending on, you know, who comes on. Uh, and if you're a total newbie, you've never been on before. Uh, definitely check out learnautobodyandpaint.com or you can you can also head down to radspaintformula.com get some free auto body training there uh, i think you're gonna love it um, again i just had a busy couple of weeks guys so i had to skip youtube lives for about two weeks um you know uh, i'm not gonna disappear like that you know I'm, I'm i'm gonna do these you know i do these for you guys i do these uh, and, um, you know, want to help you get off the, uh, get off the ground and, and get, you know, get your clutter cleared up. Uh, what's going on, Bryson, <laughs> Tony, the tiger. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, so yeah, guys head down to learn auto body and paint.com. If you're a total newbie, how many newbies in the house today? Just type in newbie. If you guys are new, type in newbie or first timer. Let me know. Um, but I mean, this is your time, guys. If it's going to be a slow night, I mean, I'll just I might as well just do my things because I got, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I'm doing always doing something. Um, it's super hot here. I'm probably going to head down to the beach after this and just just dunk in quick, you know, get a quick, you know, swim, cool off and then um, come back and get to work uh, later tonight. So how's everything going, guys? Type in the chat. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know. Type it in. I know we haven't been here for a couple of weeks, so maybe, you know, people like are not tuning in tonight. It looks like a slow night tonight, but whatever. Any new projects you guys working on? Uh, like I said, I completed the Tesla project. We got two, two of the Tesla videos in VIP already, the first two segments. So if you guys log in to learn auto body VIP, the first two segments of the Tesla project is there we got the rest being rendered up this week i got my video guy mark working on it he's been working on it for the past few weeks it takes a while to literally go through all that content and and make a nice video out of it you know so um the rest of the series should be in you know way you know by the end of next week for sure but the, the filming everything's done editing will be done this week so it should be there uh shortly I got rear-ended. Should I trade my car or keep it? Because I think it won't look the same. I mean, it it all depends on the damage. You know, I don't know how bad it is. Sometimes you can fix it. Sometimes you might have to 
take it to a frame shop to, to pull the rear end out a little bit. You know, it all depends. You know, if you guys want to send me pictures or video, send it to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. I don't mind taking a look at it and doing a quick email reply. You know, I do it all the time for VIP guys. So if that's something that you want, let me know. Just email Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. And, um, and I can help you out there. <clears throat> How's everybody's summer doing? Everybody good with their summer? I've just been busy working on stuff. Um, might be heading out um, of the country in a, in a few months uh, to go check some places out. But then I've, I've, I've been hearing like, you know, we're going to be getting these COVID restrictions again. Have you guys been kind of like looking around? Uh, I'll, not on the mainstream media fully yet, but I, I'm hearing like fourth quarter this year, you know, uh, they're planning to to drum up or, or you know, use some of their propaganda and talk about another deadly variant um, and um, basically try to lock us in our homes again um, and do COVID 2.0 and give everybody another round of shots and uh, do the whole thing again and then lock everybody in their homes again and then print more money. Uh, and give more money to to everybody, and then the stocks and cryptos are going to go back up again. So this is like a whole; it's like a wheel of fortune. It's like a whole uh, a cycle that just keeps on repeating. Sorry about that. <laughs> Getting ready to spray my seventy four Super Beetle next week. Awesome, Brian. What color? What color, man? Send some pictures in. Um, I'm sanding a truck bed that is single stage. I have a few rock chips. Will glaze putty be sufficient to cover the rocks? And I sand it through some areas. Yeah, um, absolutely. So you can you can you can feather some of the rock chips out if you get to metal. I would definitely make sure you spray some sealer over it before painting. Or if you're you know doing some body work on it, you got some 2K filler primer. You're going to want to just hit those little metal areas and those spots with filler primer so you can flatten that out with 400 grit um, and then you're ready for paint. So you could paint directly over for, uh, over a 2K filler primer, guys, or you can use a sealer over that and then put your base coat clear coat. You know, with the Tesla, we did a sealer because the uh, the, the teal that I painted was, was a very translucent, hard to cover color. So I had to seal that whole car before laying that base coat on, but it came out really nice. Um, the only thing I need to do to that project is color sand and buff it. It's been, you know, it's probably been a month now since I painted it and um, it's nice and dry. It's cured. Uh, it looks really good. And um, we just got to color sand it and buff it. And then once I make that segment of videos, that'll also be in, um, in VIP for you that, you know, it's like a, another part of the series, you know, uh, what iconic car would you choose as another project for paradise garage? Well, honestly, I hate to tell you guys this, but my 67 Chevelle Malibu was probably going to be the next project, but I'm kind of testing the waters and, um, I just put it up for sale on eBay. <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, you know, I'm trying to get like 33K for it. If I get 33 or 30 for it, I'm going to let it go. Yeah, I don't use it. It's taken up space at my other house. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be painting it anytime soon right now. I'd rather do a smaller project. And it's just, you know, I would rather like right now, the way the economy is, I'm just thinking I'm like weeding down some things that I have. And I want to just take that money and put it into certain stocks and crypto because I know I can double or triple that than just sitting in a car. You know what I mean? So that's, I'm just playing the financial game uh, with, with some of the things, especially the way the markets are right now. Um, you can see like I'm, all, I'm doing stocks pretty much. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of my time go, goes toward crypto and stocks. Uh, mostly democratic. So I don't know, man, as far as the next project, it might be something for my daughter. You know, she's going to be driving you know, later this year, toward the end of the year and next year, maybe, you know, get her a little a car. Maybe she likes a little cars, you know, a little uh, maybe a Miata, but she wants, a, you know, she wants a, a four seater. So maybe a um, she likes those classic. She actually likes the, the MG midgets. She likes those classic cars. 
she likes uh the mini cooper she kind of likes beetles a little bit you know so we'll see we'll see what she gets she wants you know we might be doing something like that but um as far as a next <clears throat> a next immediate project um there's really nothing on my plate besides cleaning up the content that I have to give you guys and then putting that out. And then I'm also revamping um, learnautobodyandpaint.com, the whole VIP members area, the seven days and all that, you know, the not the seven days. I'm actually going to be doing a seven day. I'm, I'm like repackaging my auto body program um, online. And I'm going to like let it go like cheaper than ever before. So, you know, anybody can get in and get access to all this content that we've accumulated and organized over the past 10 years um actually more than 10 years 13 years <clears throat> and just have a an amazing package of auto body content um for a ridiculously low investment you know i just want to like really just put it out there you know and um bring in new members and um just you know whoever wants to learn they can learn it's all there and then continue doing these live streams to where you know if people have questions weekly you know i might miss a day uh, or two a month, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm always here to help you guys out. Um, dark cherry, red metallic, black sealer, base coat, clear coat. When it's done, I'll send pictures. Awesome. Send some before and after pictures, bro. Yeah, I would like to see the before and after. Forrest says, I'm not playing the COVID game. Yeah, I get it, man. I, 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 I hope a lot of people actually woke up from this whole COVID thing. And seeing that it was just a facade, you know, it was a whole gameplay, you know, uh, they're, they're just playing us guys. They're just playing us. Don't, don't fall into that trap again. It's all BS. Uh, what brand of sandpaper do you use? Um, if you're on a budget, just go on Amazon, get the China made sandpapers. I mean, they work, you know, some of the sand granulars may kind of come off a little quicker than other brands, but they work. That's if you want to go on a budget. I've done it. Amazon Chinese sandpapers work well. Um, if you got the budget, uh, you might want to look into Eagle. Uh, Kovacs is a very good brand. Um, Kovacs actually gives me sandpaper, so I really don't have to buy sandpaper. But Kovacs is a very good Japanese brand uh, of sandpaper. They make really, really good sandpaper. Um, Norton makes good sandpapers. Um, besides that, like, I don't, I don't know any of the other like new sandpaper brands because like I said, Kovacs just gives me sandpaper, you know? So, so yeah. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. Hey, I'm painting a hood for a friend. It's my first project. Um, I called paint company nearby. The color is victory red and they have multiple reds with different names. How close to these colors usually match factory paint or should I blend it into the fenders? Uh, well, it depends on the job, right? So if, you, if you're going to be doing a high quality job and if you're getting paid for high quality and you, and you, you know, then the correct way to do it is to blend you're doing a hood. So the correct way to do it would be to blend into the fenders and clear coat the whole front end. Okay. Um, depending, um, if the color is pretty close and similar, then you could get away with just painting the hood. Okay. And again, it depends. Um, I, I would actually take the vehicle over there or take your um, your gas cap cover over there so they can match the paint when they make it and get it as close as possible. Because if you give them a part of the car that they can match, they usually do a pretty good job, you know. And if it looks really well, then you can probably most likely get away with painting the hood and um, just leaving it as that, especially if it's a newer car, you know, five, seven years old probably not much fading going on, you know, um, unless it's been in the sun parked and parked outside all day for, for that whole time, then yeah, you're going to have some fading, but most cars five years to seven years old within that range, not too much fading, you know, unless it's a crappy, crappy paint job. I know some Hondas back in the day, some Toyotas back in the day, some Chevys back in the day in the nineties, early two thousands had some bad, bad paint work on their cars. And like within, you know, five, seven years, all the clear coat was literally like flaking off. You know, that's what that was just bad paint. 
bad paint, very thinly laid on, you know, and, and yeah, a lot of guys are, I was repainting a lot of those types of cars back in the day. Um, so yeah, it all depends. Tyler, are you a learn auto body VIP member, Tyler? If not, definitely go to learn auto body and paint.com, pick up that free auto body guide. And then we got some email trainings for you that teach you auto body and paint. And again, uh, if you're really serious about this, definitely check out VIP, uh, learn auto body VIP. All right. Um, also you guys can go to radspaintformula.com to get more free training, um, on the rads paint formula system there. Um, let's see. Fast line is a good budget brand from Sherman Williams automotive. Um, so there you go. Anything else guys? Any auto body Q and a hope everyone's doing well, man. It's been a couple weeks. Everything's good on my end. I hope everything's good on your end. It's just been getting hot here. Beautiful summer days, though. I'm just um, happy. Uh, I live pretty close to the beach. Type in the chat, guys. Any auto body questions? Let me know. This is your time. I'm here to help you out. Yeah, it's an older Chevy truck with just sun damage on the hood. Signed up recently for VIP course. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'm hoping you like it. Let me know. Go through the program. Let me know how you like it. There's a lot of content in there. Um, so what color is that Chevy truck? And uh, what year is it? Yeah, You're saying it's older. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know how the rest of the body looks. You know, sometimes you might just want to repaint the whole thing if it has, you know, sun damage all over the place like that. But yeah. You know, good luck with that. If you guys want to send in pictures, like I said, send in pictures or whatever video. I don't mind replying uh, on an email. Got some deep scratches in the bottom of my door. Should I sand and put some metal glaze in it or is there a better way? Um, I don't I mean, you don't have to put any metal glaze in it. You could just use a polyurethane glaze. Um, there's a, a 1K that you can use or a 2K uh, type of putty. Um, Dolphin Glaze makes some good glaze putty that you can use. They make a, a 1K version where you just put it on, let it dry, you know, overnight. And then um, wet sand that. And then you can seal that before paint or you can put 2K filler primer on that. Block it down with 400 and then paint it. 2010 Silverado. Got it. So, um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, you might, you know, some scratches depending on, oh, well, you just said deep scratches, so you probably can't buff them out. You know, if you, if you get to the metal then you can't buff it out, if you get to the primer, then you can't buff it out. <sighs> VIP is worth it. Thanks, Bryson. Appreciate that. Well, I'm going to make it even more um, affordable for people in the coming weeks. We're revamping everything, and I'm just like literally going to give it away. You know, basically just have a, a small entry fee just to help with site maintenance and pay my team, basically. Because I got um, a team of six in the Philippines that basically run all the back end for all of my websites, customer support, um, you know, doing everything. I'm VIP since 2010. God dang. Dang, bro. You've been around for the whole ride. Nice to see you. Thanks for sticking around. Good to see you, man. Yeah, a lot of things going on. Um, do you need to reapply epoxy primer if you find unwanted imperfections that need a little filler? No, because if you got imperfections, well, I don't know if you're, if you mean 2K filler primer or epoxy, you're probably, you know, like sometimes you may want to be using a 2K filler primer instead of epoxy primer. But if you have imperfections 
in your primer stage, you want to make sure you at least block it out to get all of the, the paint texture out, the orange peel, get it as flat as you can. And if you have imperfections like rock chips or deep scratches still showing through that, you can just put a, um, a glaze over it, a polyurethane, like dolphin glaze. I like dolphin glaze. U-Paul makes, U-Paul is um, dolphin glaze. Um, what other brand? E EGC, I use their products. European Genuine Coatings, they make some good um, putties that you can use. Um, 1K or 2K. 2K, guys, is basically you're mixing the putty with a hardener and it dries harder and faster. 1K takes a while to dry because the solvents inside of it need to evaporate. It takes a little longer to dry, but they still dry hard. Okay, and those types of 1K putties are, are really are better for fine scratches or very small rock chips, okay? Smaller imperfections. If you have deep rock chips, um, deep scratches, you're gonna wanna use a 2K glaze putty. Okay, because sometimes you're going to get that shrinkage and then it might look good after primer, everything you paint it, you know, a couple of weeks later, you might see like a little sand scratch through your paint job. But most times that can also actually be buffed out through your clear coat. So you basically just color sand your clear coat and you can buff that out if you get that issue. Um, got some multi-tone paint. Should I mix it in clear or a carrier? Um, it's up to you. If you're confident that you're not going to run your clear coat, then you can put it in clear coat and spray it. Um, if you feel like you want more insurance and, you know, give you some room in case you screw up, then I would put it in a carrier. How long between coats on 2K primer do you sand between coats? No, you don't sand between 2K filler primer coats and you don't sand in between epoxy coats and you don't sand between sealer coats as well okay and you never send you never send a final coat of sealer you just spray right over it um as far as uh flashing between the two coats of primer depending on how hot it is anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes okay so you spray it you wait 15 minutes you're good to go again most times Okay, sometimes if it's a little cooler out, you're spraying it, you know, 65 degrees, 75 degrees, you may may want to let it sit for 30 minutes. Okay, but if you're spraying in, you know, 70s to 90s, that stuff is going to dry pretty quick, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you're ready for your second coat, you know, like by the time you walk around the car, you're ready to go over that spot again. You know what I mean? So like, if you're doing body work on a car, and you got like, Say you have like a dent on every panel and you, and you want to prime that little dent on every panel that you have. So say you start on the passenger door and then you're walking around the front. You know, you do the part of the fender, you do some on the hood, you do the the driver door, you go around the car. By the time you get to this where you started, you can put your second coat on because it takes about 10, 15 minutes to go around a car. You know what I mean? Get pretty much sometimes less, but you guys get the point, right? Don't know if you got Sharon Williams Automotive there, but I know the ones in Arkansas on September 6th having a flash sale, uh, like finish one clear would be $80 a setup. That's really good. Yeah, we do have Sherman Williams here, but I'm I'm sure the uh, the sales are going to be way different from what you guys got over there in Arkansas. Are you guys liking this so far, guys? Let me, let me know. Give me a quick thumbs up or uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are liking this quick Q&A that we're doing. Um, we'll take a couple more questions and call it a day, guys. Uh, the paint on my hood is chipping down to the metal. Should I fix the chip, the chip shops, or chip, or sand all the way down to the metal and start over? Um, it depends. You know, if if you don't have a lot of chips, you could just do what I do in VIP. Like we have. We have videos where we we show you how to do that. And also we take down to metal in some areas. So if you have a lot and you have old paint, you might want to just take it down to metal and um, put some epoxy primer on that, the whole hood, and then 2K filler primer on top of that. You don't have to sand the epoxy, by the way. You just spray your 2K filler primer on top of that. Then you just block sand it out. You could uh, go by machine at first. You can use a DA. You can put like a... 320 grit on there just to take it just to take the rough down 
And then you can finish up with a 400 grit, get it nice and smooth. And then if you want to go even better, you get wet sand it uh, with 400 grit, four to 600 grit. Okay. Uh, and then paint. Awesome. Awesome guys. So we'll take maybe one more question guys, and we'll call it a day. Type it in the chat. One more question. If not, I will try to be back again. Well, most likely I'll be back again next week, Tuesday, same time for auto body Q and a, we'll try to get it back up and rolling again. The, the only issue guys, I've just been so busy with other things and, um, you know, it's hard to, to add, to do every week, you know, maybe I'll set everybody's expectations to where, you know, we we're definitely going to do them two to three times a month. Because four times a month is a little, you know, because some some weeks it's just I got, I'm freaking booked. But I will let you know, you guys, once, if you guys are on the auto body newsletter at learnautobodyandpaint.com down here, click that Rad's Paint Formula newsletter or learnautobodyandpaint.com newsletter. Um, if you guys, we actually send out emails um, a few hours before we go live on these dates. So if you're signed up to that newsletter, uh, you're going to get a notification. All right. Burn through clear. That is that a question? So like, what's your question? You're just telling me what happened. Yeah, what's your question? T. Corley, I have some minor rust spots on my roof. I'm going to sand and 2K prime, but the sandpaper I have a lot of at the house is 180, 400, 800. Do I have to 220 or 320 here at the moment? I do not have. No, so you could basically just get that down with 180 and you can 2K filler prime over 180. You'll be fine. Okay, you could 2K filler prime over 150. That's like the roughest I'll, I, I will um, prime over is a 150 grit with 2K filler primer. It fills it in really easy um, and you can sand it out really easily as well. Uh, do I need to go back with color? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. You pretty much have to. It depends on how how bad it is. If it's an area where you can just forget about it and not have it bother you, then you could probably walk away from it. But if it's a customer job or a job, you know, like right where you can see it on your fender or whatever, and it bothers you, and if it's big enough, then you're going to have to wet sand that out, sand the whole hood down or the fender, whatever you're working on, rebase that spot and clear the whole thing again, you know, because you're not going to be doing a spot repair in the middle of a panel without clear coating the whole panel. Spot repairs are, are mainly blending and then clearing the whole panel. You know, you could get away with um, flipping car right on the hood. I mean, if it's a flip car, you might probably not even worry about it. All used cars have blemishes anyway. You might, you might not even want to waste your time on it, you know. Just mix up some mud, make it look like bird poop, put it on there and just go sell the car. You know, because most likely people are not going to be like really anal about a condition of a used car, you know, especially if it's like an average price point car. All cars have scratches and rock chips and blemishes, you know what I mean? So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back next week. Same time. If you have any auto body questions, let me know. Um, for all you guys watching the replay, click over here to get the free auto body guide, free auto body trainings. Look down below in the description to get more links and more content. Talk to you soon. Have a good week. Peace out. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll just post the link again to uh, learn auto body and paint. Cheers, guys.